We are back at it. Chat pulled up on my phone. This cave has moved over. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Internet. 2023 is almost over. Full of Chinese food and presents. All the good stuff. Let's see, we were on our way to fight Godric. Let's get to it. There's also a bunch of other Limgrave bosses I should probably clear up. Let's see, who replaced the lion? Yeah. Okay. Still has an item dropped. Still not a good one. Uh... to get the backstab, but didn't realize it had an AoE. Alright. There's a bunch of items in this courtyard, so I'm going to try to go a little, little carefully and see if we can't actually... Okay, that, that's nice. I do like that. Are you going to come down to me? Oh, dear. Okay. That's not something I really wanted to deal with. Can I cross this gap? Do some running, right? Whoop. We will maybe have to double back and be careful to grab these items. Excuse me. Get stuck on geometry, nerds. Stand back. Okay. Alright, let's hit this grace and not die less than like two minutes into the stream. Okay. Lordy, lordy. Okay. And why has there got to be worm faces running around? Not my favorite creature type. I can fight these things one at a time. Where'd that hand go? Twig. Great. An avocado. Thanks. This painting's full of cash. Huh. Okay. I do like that. How that? There we go. Yeah, Alabaster is Lord's pull is a. Uh way better crowd control tool than I thought it was going to be.
Nope, 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 nope. I don't want it. I don't want any of that. Keep me out of your death farts. Let's get down into the stairwell. It is paradoxically probably safer. Please stop. Oh, the exploding pot. Okay. I did not realize he was going to detonate. All right. But I'm alive! Filled with arrows. But still alive. Take one stone sword. What treasures await? Uh, uncured jerky. And literal shit. Well, you shouldn't have. Ooh, okay. That is a legendary item. What is the safest way to get down there? All right, I don't have any blues. That's okay. Ah, uh, don't crossbow me, man. Don's hat. Fire monk. I thought there was even a grace here. Oh, the furry tail. Yeah, I think I've ever actually used that. So, do we... There was one last item in this courtyard. I honestly am not sure if it's worth bothering. Let's just go here and push through to Godric. Let's see who he is. That should be fun. Uh, that's not enough to level, is it? It is, just barely. Okay. Here. Oh, the ant, yeah. Okay. It's usually like, yeah, the ambush dog. Serpent bow. Well, if I wanted to use a bow, that's a pretty good one. But I think I'm good. Oh. Spaghetti! Alrighty. 
Who talked to Nefeli? Be proud. You were a fine warrior. That is it. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Strong well, are you? outfit. I am Nefeli. I'm here by how utterly this grafting is tainted the. Is tainted the very winds. I ask you, call upon the winds. I'm certain for. I do kind of want to do her quest, and I think oh, later calling. Okay. I do think doing the Feli's quest requires me to summon her at least once for the Godric fight. So, even though I don't know who it's going to be, I can give that a go. Ah. Uh, I do love that Ash War now. It comes out just a little faster than I expect it to, and it's a treat. Uh, I'm going to take a hot second to check the Scarab and a couple items over here. Just because they're easy to get to. Nope. Smithing 2. That's a lot of drops. Darts. Rune Fragment. Oh, yeah. Hey! Rune 9 is actually real cash. I'll take that. All-knowing gauntlets. least oh, yep. yeah, the odds of me finding is somber eight here are pretty slim but could be something else wacky or just cash I will take cash Frostbite, let me out. I did not expect the watchdog. Jesus Cristo. Oh, oh and a Nox twin. Uh, that's nice. Uh, are there other items in there? If there are, I have no blues. I guess I can go here. Was it worth it for string? Beast bones. Eh. Godric night breeze. Crescent moon axe. I don't know if I've ever actually used that one. It is a new one to me. No. Not worth. Not in the least. Uh, and top up. Where's the. The side path. Does that go up? Not to anything useful. It did kind of boggle me the first time I went through the game how big uh, Stormvale was versus how little of it you actually need to go through to play the game or to, to finish the game normally. Okay, so that's like down to the. What is it? 
God, Godwin corpse and uh, ulcerated tree spirit. I guess we could poke our head down there quick. Ah, I mean, I should just fight Godric. This is wasting time. But, uh, I mean, eventually I do want to do the field bosses since they can hold important objects, but... Cloud. Ah, because I f fudged that. Gem. I guess I was supposed to go the, the, on the left. Yeah, the, uh, the other side. I can't remember if there's a talisman down here, which would qualify as an important location or not. Definitely do meet Roger down here. That did not hit nearly as many things as I was hoping. Skeleton Town. Oh, the big flower. Of all the things that are technically mini-bosses... Oh, the rot flower. Run! I do not want rot. I don't have much in the way of ranged attacks right now. Do you mind? Got nicked, but otherwise, happy to be done with it. Explosive stone clumps. Oh, the clumps. I think I remember there being an item pickup if you go up these uh, bits of geometry. You know, don't fall off them. Even. Okay. Which mini boss are we gonna get here? It's not spawned. Oh wait, that is just a wolf. I mean, we did see uh, ulcerated tree spirit out in the wild, so maybe it's just considered an enemy. Leaf. Hey, bloodhound knight. Yeah, even if I had the Bloodhound Knight sword, I'm not sure I would feel compelled to use it. Already got pretty swanky setup. Oh, the thrill. This was a pretty typical Christmas celebration day. Big gift exchange, big breakfast, and up for a big uh, Chinese food lunch, as is tradition since it's open. Oh, that actually is an item. But, uh, yeah, a, a highly successful Christmas in my book. 
Go to Lena. Eh. He should not have spawned here. What a mess. Poor guy. Hey, we got refunded our stone sword key. You'll love to see it. Oh, I hate pages. Get boned. No item. Alright. Someone cool replace the, uh... Scion? Not really. That's nice. I do wonder if the Mimic Veil vale got randomized. It probably did. There's no reason it wouldn't have, but, uh... That's interesting. I'm not sure I've ever seen that guy before. Looked like he was summoning a death cloud or something. Oh, oh we got a... Uh, clean Rot Knight on our hands. My brain is loading a little slow today after such a big lunch. So we'll see if I can uh, keep my death count low for this stream. And I, I do love the, uh, the really difficult enemies being randomized to, you know, basic skeletons rather than uh, the Halberd Banish Knight. Yeah, Mimic, Mimic Veil somewhere else. Your Mimic Veil is in another castle. Right, uh... There it is. This ladder took me like five playthroughs to find. I always looked across that little walkway and I'm like, oh, there's no way to get there. There's simply no way to get over there. And that item above the Scion is just, like, unfindable. Cannot be retrieved. Got dog. And yet. And yet. Aww. Sorry. And string. Okay, yeah. That's probably enough futzing around. Should probably... I'll take this last grace just to have it. Or maybe I'll talk to Roger. I do kind of like following NPC quests through, even on a randomizer, where it's, uh... Kind of up to... Up to RNG, what rewards we actually get, but, uh... Having the first R uh, Roger interaction... Before going, before seeing him in round table and uh, his eventual demise. Uh, I don't think any of these things can carry the barrels, so. Mid falling animation, so cruel. Okay. I spent so much time in Stormvale the first time I played the game, and then this is probably the longest I've spent in it since then. 
just hasn't been a, a huge priority. Yep. I do like the chain reaction slimes. Just like in principle. Oh, these guys are replacing the, uh, the inactive enemies. Hey, Roger! Roger! Ah, nice to meet you. Nice hood. Pleasure's mine. I'm looking for when I'm not hot footing. But enough about this place is not exactly a. I see. You can see it then. Well, I'm tarnished. But unlike you, still, I'm privy to. Would you care to learn as a fellow? Tell me your skills. Devour a scepter. Hmm. I don't think it's very good. I do like the Venomous Claw just in principle, and I will grab a Runar, but uh, otherwise I will see him uh, at round table. So let's go ahead and find out who Godric is. I'll, I will summon the fellow to keep her quest going. And uh, should I get one more blue? Uh, no. But I should Golden Vow before I, before I go in. Yeah, what weapon was she holding again? She, oh no, she still has the Stormhawk axes. Just the armor that swapped. Alright. Back to the Owl Blaster. Who is it? I didn't get a glimpse. Head was in the way. Oh, Duo. Key Rice. Okay. Godskin Duo is not my uh, my favorite. Up and down. All right, Nefeli. All right, he's gonna phase transition soon. All right, out of stam. All right, one on one. Ah. Uh. Yeah, buddy, first try. And a deck to have. Hot shit. And one day, okay, Nefeli was legitimately helpful, but. To our home, bathed in rays of gold. <laughs> the good stuff. Oh man, not having them in the uh, the end the uh, boss pool anymore feels real good, because I did not want to fight them, you know. In place of Elden Beast or Radagon or something gross. Hello there. I didn't see you come in. What you got? No skill. Dex. Well, we already have the Millicent, but I guess... Can we get a spell bearing? We cannot. I mean, he'll be here. Uh... Jar Shard. Yeah, none of this is super exciting. Good deal. Uh, we don't have nearly enough for a level. I will go, in the name of keeping this quest rolling, talk to uh, the great Kenneth Height. 
and see. Uh, I'm. Pr oh no, I never actually. The last time I was in Fort Height, I ran through and didn't kill the Blood Knight. So let's go do that quick. With the uh, Ash of War, we should be able to mow down most of these nerds. It does feel good to have Godric off the table. Or rather, Godskin duo, but... Uh... Hey, where's the uh, pumpkin head enemy that normally walks out? Did I already clear it? This looks pretty enemy free, like I, I previously cleared it. Caught the cookbook in here though, so. Hola. Como estas? Any other stray items I should. Yeah, it looks like we, we killed the Blood Knight, or whichever enemy was the Blood Knight, so we're not getting any, uh, any spawns. Okay. In that case, back to Kenny. Is there anything else we need to do? Uh, we need to not give her the Celibus Potion, which should be easy. And we do need to give her the Stormhawk King uh, before burning the Erd Tree. And I think that's kind of it. Did we get the Stormhawk King? Uh... Not yet. I thought we might have, but it might be in a shop. That's probably what I'm thinking of. Ah, I did you more. Excel done. I knew it all. Go ahead. <laughs> it's all yours. Right then, I've much to do. What's that look? Well, under the earth. even the vow, which is why I just you what? So progressive, so progressive. Wow. All right, so who should we hit up next? Um, so we could do a few more Limgrave bosses just to work through the list and see if what key items drop. Or we could go to uh, Altus and try to make some progress uh, and see if we might be able to find a somber eight. Uh, I think I'm happy to just burn through some of these, so, uh, yeah, let's go and see who the uh, Soldier of Godric is. That's the lowest scaled boss in the game, I believe, so that should be, even if it's something nasty, we should be pretty, pretty good. Uh, that's back this way? Yeah. Hey, Ricky, I'm home. Ah, my ankles. I'm shooting straight up through my shins. We're still shy of a level, right? Yeah. Having tutorial enemies turn into big nasty stuff is always very fun. But, uh... So far, so good. Ugh. Yeah, having a worm face in the tutorial area would have been a uh, eye-opening. Saving them for later is probably the right design choice. These guys are just totally inactive, I think. This is supposed to be the stealth section, but I think no matter what... Oh no, that stone digger troll, or stone digger does not. Actually... Oh. Rolled exactly into it. Alright, so this is where we get to, like, peak, right?
Man, that is a uh, big coked out wolf. Oh, okay, yeah. It's the uh, Stone Digger troll, that's right. The guy who's normally in the uh, Limgrave Tunnel. Sure, I'll top up. I will, for the sake of completeness, hit all my buffs. Hola! Troll a Godric. Someone's trolling. Emotes don't seem to be randomized, so this one is probably still strength. Yeah. Uh, I guess we could do the Fringe Folk Heroes Grave. I think we have at least one Stone Sword Key. I don't. Not enough Stone Sword Key. Uh, let's... I don't think there's... What am I saving for? Saving them for otherwise? Uh, nothing in particular. Let's see. Oh, actually, now that Godric's dead, is the door to Enya open? I might see if the equipment of champions is there. Any stone sword keys? Three of them. Uh, let's just get let's get one for now. I have no idea what Enya's going to be holding. This should be open. No? Ah, okay. Fair enough. Let me go check on my uh, my frames quick. How are we doing? Zero dropped frames. Yeah, I got on the... Uh, went from the... Oh, too far. From the standard uh, hotel internet to the, the fancy premium one. Although it turns out there was like... A whole shuffle that, like, once you've accepted the free version of the internet, they don't want to give you the option to pay for it again. Just, yeah, something about the way their, their internal network is configured. So I had to modify my uh, network device's MAC address so they thought it was a different machine connected, and then they gave me a promo code to use for the rest of my stay. That was very nice of them. But, uh, yeah, my, my speed is, like, I think six times greater than it was. Uh, okay, let's, let's see. try to not get poisoned. So yeah, I, I reviewed the, the recording from yesterday and uh, okay, so we still have the chariots. I, I re reviewed the recording from yesterday and there were like really chunky frame drops at a couple spots throughout. So I'm hoping today is smooth and uh, it doesn't happen again. All right, turn. <laughs> this is really sad. I'll get that later. Alright, is this a flamethrower hallway? It is. Um, like picking up a handful of bows along the way. Is. You have any basic arrows? Yeah, we got basic arrows.
does make me heavy though, so it's gotta go. Money. Well, medium money. I'm not gonna bother the jellyfish. It's doing cool. Not hurting anybody. It does bother me a little bit that they're not spectral. So. Okay, so normally the signs are supposed to be like up on the ceiling to ambush you. This guy's just down here. Being a bro. Talisman becomes... Ooh, I will take a golden seed. 100%. Alright. I don't think there's anything else in this lair until we roll down. Let's light it up. Yeah. That's... In the corner. Work. Nothing over here. Yeah. Yeah, not being able to see the ground here is super spooky the first time I explored this. Didn't have any rainbow stones or anything. Just had to trust. Then again, I was way more concerned with, like, getting ganked and dying the first time I played. Now it just feels more fair. Like, I oughta, I oughta know better. Alpenaric, okay. Death's poker, hot damn. Okay. Wow, this has super armor, super armor. Okay, well, I think that's probably the best weapon we could have asked for. Uh, okay. Yep. good? A rune arc. Okay, so not something good. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we can go down a couple more items and do the ulcerated tree spirit. And I've been pretty happy with the uh, our survivals so far this run. Or this, uh, this stream at least. Lots of stupid deaths earlier in the run, but, uh... So, yeah, let's go see the, uh... Vanished Knight who usually gives the Dragon Communion Seal. Fighting each other. Interesting. Yeah, I'll just let them do that. You should like to get behind the, those uh, kind of legless gargoyles, but this guy's pretty well wedged. I'm not too interested in getting flame thrown. No item. Oh, there was golden nine. Okay. Yeah, I will take more cash. 
So let's see, with the Death's Poker in hand, what do we got stone-wise? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. So if we got a seven and an eight, we use the one seven we had on this guy. I do like the Alabaster, but uh, getting a Death's Poker... I'm like, what's the uh, requirements on that? It's it's up here, isn't it? Death Poker. 17 decks. Hey, actually, that's either one level or I throw on the... Uh, Millicent's Talisman. Yeah. Easy peasy. We meet the requirements. We just need stones. Oh man, that's a worm face. I don't like that one bit. Anything to do with it. Thank you, sir. I'll be here. Don't mind me. Oh, man, they are still coming. Okay, uh... Oh, not the fountain. Gross. Okay, good. Did not want to deal with that. Did not want to get death blighted in the lowest level dungeon in the game. Alright, uh, yep. Let's do it! Uh, oh, just a normal, normal watchdog. Oh. I think I would have learned the timings on this guy's by now, but I still run. The lay on them is just so strange to me. There we go. Bon. Multiple golden seeds from one dungeon makes me pretty happy. I will take it. Let's see, I've got a spreadsheet to check off bosses. We did Soldier of Godric. We have done uh, Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. Yeah. So the next one up would be the Crucible Knight Ever Jail. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, hello. I think the easiest way to get there is from... Uh, Probably this shack backwards so I don't have to go through the gate. Yeah. Oh, so we can see what item um, Rodrigo le left behind. Ooh, okay. If I was using summons, that would be uh, pretty spicy. Way less of a pain than it usually is. Oh, hello? Wait a second. As long as I steer clear of the Rune Baron, it'll be pretty good. But, uh... All right. What we got. Buffing routine. Ah, 
Oh, it's terrible. Later, Daryl. Oh. The beast eye. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. I do wonder now, is it still going to quiver in places that normally have uh, tibia mariners and that kind of stuff? Or is it going to quiver where the randomized bosses show up? I, I, I suspect it's just going to quiver based on location, not based on which boss ended up there. But, uh, yeah, it's a fun thought. Whoop. More money. Okay. So let's see... Stormfoot Catacombs. Uh, I remember where Bofa is. So there's, there's. Okay, so I can go to Church of Ella and do both Stormfoot and uh, the Bofa Cave. I'll probably grab a level. Another word 18. Or 19. Uh, oh no, with, with other buffs we're at 24, what am I saying? So this has already been doing magic damage for a while. Okay. Good stuff. I was just thinking maybe I should have saved those runes for uh, upgrading the Death Spoker since that's kind of my end game weapon, but. At the moment, I'm pretty happy with with the blaster. It's like the world's shortest cave, right? an explosive one. Okay. Okay. Clarifying balls. Hey, warming stone. I honestly don't hate warming stones. They're, uh... I don't want to get rotted. Yeah, warming stones can be useful in a pinch, but uh, getting the Frenzy Stone would be really fun. I've seen some really nice strats for uh, for Gideon just chucking a Frenzy Stone during his monologue. And just around the time he finishes, uh, he gets frenzied. Watchdog, okay. Okay, that's that's pretty real. I like that. Getting rewarded with spicy stuff for beating weak bosses is a nice way to start the day. Usually do Stormfoot Ruins or Stormfoot Catacomb in my on normal playthroughs, so I'm gonna have to kind of hunt for it a bit. 
Oh, I'm just gonna get stuck on a bush. Okay. Nice. Oh, I don't really like that guy. Okay. That's a, that looks like it. Ah. Don't puke on me, bro. I'm opening doors. Heavy rolling is what I'm doing. Uh... Let us... Let us get through this and we're sneaking up on the hour mark, so... Oh. I forgot to launch the timer. This is what happens when I only have one display to work with. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll launch it once. Uh, so I, I see I've been streaming for 56 minutes. Uh, when I come back, I'll launch the timer when I come back from my break, and that'll be the uh, official time. Whoop. Yep. Nagakiba. If I had any aspiration of making a dex build at this point, I would consider it, but not really. Who that? Oh, that's a beast man. Not gonna fall down? Okay. Is there anything up there in this one? Nah. Dragonfly head. Oh, whoa. You can tell I had no idea he was going to be there. Alright. Up the ladder. To the switch. To boss mother's house we go. Oh, that's a real enemy. Doesn't have the Ferramazula scaling. All right. Aw. I like the Jar Buddies. Makes me sad I have to take them out from time and time to again. Yeah, from time to time. All right. Oh, wait. I literally saw the lever and I dropped past it. Okay. Well, at least all the uh, flamethrowers are off now. Let's go straight up. That is the hour mark, so I am gonna just hang out right here. We can take a quick break and uh, I'll start the timer. Be back in a few.
Back just a hair early. Excited to get through this. Let's see. Let's buff up. Irrespective of who will be fighting. Check it out. Oh, the two kindreds of Rod. The one kindred of Rod. Kindreds of Rot. <laughs> okay, that was pretty fun. Mark them off my sheet. Let's see. Stormfoot, yeah. So Murkwater and Limgrave Tunnels are the last two bosses on the, the spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, let's go to Limgrave Tunnel. Let's go down the hill from here, I think is the quickest way. Oh, we never... No, we did fight a gill, yeah. We fought the gill replacement, so... We are finding a lot of fun tools, even just in Limgrave, so... I'm excited for how this run is shaping up. Even if, uh... Admittedly, Death's Poker is not the most original way to get through a randomizer, it is an awful lot of fun to use. If I can find multiple uh, sevens and eights, this is fine, right? Okay, it's like it'll be a very stupid first death of the stream. Uh, if I can find multiple sevens and eights, I'd love to level up both the alabaster and that because having a melee option that's this good, along with a uh, you know frostbite and magic damage of the uh, death spoker, would be very nice. Mining Roa Fruit. Oh, the Nox on the spider. I hate that. Sunflower grown out of the wall. Why not? Still dropping a smithing stone. What is Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, there is an item in there, but... Oh, yeah. You'd love to see it. 
I mean, the scaling here is very generous, so it's not too, too surprising that that worked that well, but it's still very funny. Side tunnel. Arteria leaf. I thought that was always just a blue item pickup. Never actually seen one be, like, uh, growing out of the ground. There was one run where I, I did want to use the Blood Boil Aromatic while workshopping Melania, and uh, and I ran out of ran out of Arteria Leaf very quickly. The uh, the Yetis and Mountaintop will drop it at some low percentage, but that was not the, f the most fun in farming. Hello. Killing an enemy that you haven't even put eyes on. Love it. Seriously? Just really trying to not wake up that red wolf. Do my default, grabbing the various resources. All right. I mean, I'll take it, but... Wait. Oh, right, right. I have to get off the elevator halfway. It has been a very long time since I have done the Limgrave Tunnel. <laughs> on the other side. Alright. Alright. There we go. There is the Stake America. a night sword. I feel like I remember that one having a good Ash of War, but I... What the fuck? What is that? Oh! It's a, the giant land squirt. It's just not supposed to be there. Ah, oh, it's the rot one. I hate that. I should've just started blasting. Can I get close enough without getting rotted? Oh. Okay. Blood zombie. Pop. I don't need to gather all these little resources, but the last time I was in this cave, it's like, okay, it's a purple item. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Okay. Rolo. You're a mediocre omen killer. A mediocre, mediocre omen killer and a worse candy. An actual smithing stone. All right, can I divine who we're, who we're dealing with? Not really. Now let's do the do the procedure. Oh, the Mimic Tear. Shit. Oh, I'm out of blue!
All right. Weak foe ahead, etc. Crimson bubble tier. So Murkwater is, let's see, I guess it'll be on the map. That's our next portacol. Oh yeah, that's not the uh, the patches one. That's Murkwater Cave, that's Murkwater Catacomb. Okay. That's High Road Cave. So I think I can go from the bridge next to Alexander down the Spirit Spring and do those two. Right? Right? Yes. Gotta be. Alright, be safe. Everybody's wants a bit of my ankles. All right, let's let's reset stuff. Don't want to get randomly stabbed in the head by one of the ghostly teleporting dudes. Kaiden mercenaries gave me so much trouble my first time in the game. They have just a little bit more poise than uh, I expected so that I would swing at them and they would just eat it. Oh, there's the arrows. I'm like, what's glowing on the door? What's glowing on? All right. Buff, buff. Got to get buffed up. Oh. Love to see it. <laughs> this was the correct weapon for that boss. <laughs> So we did do uh, the Selen Ruins. We haven't done Death Touch Catacombs. We did Knight's Cab on the bridge. We haven't finished the Tibia Mariner or the Anastasia. So uh, let us poke this nerd so we can travel. Here. 
let's go to the High Road Cave and get the golem out of the way. Normally the Blue Dancer Charm one. And we'll, we'll need to remember how the jumps go. That is one bit kind of forgotten. Okay, yeah. Really want to land right on top of it if I can. Okay. Uh. All right. You know what? Not even required. Book it. Oh no, that is just ocean. Okay. That irritant is out of the way. I was I, I literally went right past it. Ah well. I am. Let's see, I could level up. Int further if I want to use spells, but now that we have the Death Spoker, I don't think we actually need it. Um, we should level Dex a little bit because I don't want to have to use the Millicent, Millicent Prosthesis, but we have a lot of pockets now. Or I could add Endurance because, yeah, actually I am getting a little, a little tight on stamina now and then, and I would like to wear a bit more armor. The mimic veil. I was just talking about that guy. So it's not just for co-op. Uh, enemies will actually get confused by it. Nothing over here. Okay. Uh, I might show it off a bit later, but uh, yeah. If you're at you know gate front and you aggro one enemy and you kill him, but he's already alerted a bunch. If you look like you know, if you're inside the Mimic by the time you get, they get to you. Uh, they just kind of stand next to you and don't attack. It's very strange. Right, it's down the other way. Fall room. We're getting some pretty uh, generous enemy randomization here. Given there's no bias, this has just been like a cakewalk. Uh, another, another slug, don't care. I 
remember how I'm supposed to get down there. It's been so long since I've done this one. Okay, I just needed to roll down onto that platform and make a small hop across. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, an hour and a half in for the first death is pretty good for me. Yeah, let's, let's roll that one back. Yeah, there we go. There's the entrance. All right. Okay. Buff. Buff. Oh. This is Gillica. Sorry. Bullying for Gillica. Another death route. Let's see, so where's the... Oh no, I guess we can just exit. Oh, we have a couple death route now, so we can turn those into Garonk and see what gives. I still would like to get Night Comet, even though I don't, we'll be sinking stones and upgrading a, uh, a staff. I yeah, take both. Feed. Wow. Straight trash. Garak, you should feel that. Okay, so let's see. Let me go back to the Anoldi spreadsheet. Ah. Uh, I don't know where the golem is in this sheet, but it's done. So I guess we can go to uh, the Forlorn Hound Everjail next. Let's see who replaced Daryl. Oh, Daryl! Hopefully nothing... Actually, given the scaling, I would probably be happy if this were something more spicy rather than less. But let's see who we get. I already got one of the duo bosses out of the way. Oh, Ancient Hero. Just as well. I don't know how to fight them that well, so spamming them down is not the worst case. Alright, Daryl down. Ah, uh, Black Knife and Death Touched Catagones. I think I remember where those are. Yeah, there we go. So that's kind of up on the hill. 
I think we can get there from here. I think the easiest way is to go north and north and east from War Masters. I think that's probably the route. Many dudes. <laughs> what the fuck? But I will go back for an item because golden ring one. I should not have gone back for the item. Suing Fracas, I got a little bit disoriented, and I think I'm too high up. Yeah, I feel like they're down there. enemies are pursuing me to the ends of the earth. Okay. And I went, I way overshot. Okay. I'm gonna put a tag on it and try that again by a, a slightly different route. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah, anyone who's trying to do these hit lists, I feel for you. Because the amount of unpredictability is so high looking at mark two okay a nasty combo of enemies hey okay, this is usually the hill with the uh, the knight that drops golden bow right Seriously? We made a bacon. Back off. Alright. So they're down under this one. Small drops. Small drops. I should not have so much trouble finding this. I feel like the, uh, is it the red? The Crimson Dagger Talisman that's here, but, uh, oh yeah. Man, I put it all right next to the grease. These die corpses. So we'll see if we get Death Root. I feel like it normally does. Oh yeah, I should, uh, yeah, I don't need to top back up. I got everything I need. Usually the one with the injured black knight, right? So, oh, and the uh, the Uchi. That's why I remember it. This is the, the Uchi dungeon.
That's too large. Alright. This is the Uchi Ledge. Oh no. Oh, that's right. Let's do the other one. There's the ledge. Yeah, let's, let's light things up. What is that? Oh. pull the lever without being harassed. I say that this could be an enemy. No, nope, not even. That's maybe the strongest criticism I have of this game is that a lot of the tunnels, catacombs, uh, they all kind of blend together. So my memories of them, except for like the really atrocious ones, are uh, pretty foggy. The gas lighting one stands out, and the war dead catacombs in Kaled, which is like full of scarlet rot and, you know, flavorful, but uh, painful. Alright. Oh, the Crystallians. I didn't realize you could backstab these guys before they were monster broken. Yeah. Woo! Black Knife for Salient. a Mariner, and then Anastasia, so. Yeah, the Sunwater one, I feel like, did we finish that one? I think we might have. Because we finished one of them, the other one we, we kind of noped out of pretty quickly. I think we didn't do the Liernia one, we did do this one. Yeah, because we ended up going to the, the Turtle Talisman afterwards, so. Yeah. Nobody here. So next up is Anastasia. Actually, I can just ride from here, honestly. NBD. Other items in Summon Water that I, I never get. That's a item. Not worth it. And seeing Caleb for the first time, my first playthrough, I was like, oh, this is like the next little area. This is going to be fun. And then it's just absolute madness town with huge birds and T-Rex dogs. All right, uh, let's, yeah, go ahead and... I just interrupted my flask.
All right. Gold Firefly. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I don't know what happens if you give Celotus his introduction to, uh, to Selen before he actually knows who she is. Alright. So those two are done. Weeping, that's right. We actually haven't done a ton in Weeping. Earthbore Cave. Oh, and the Deathbird, north of Castle Morn. I guess you could do the Deathbird first. I think that shows up somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Let's, let's give that a try. Alright, it's gotta, gotta be nighttime. This is one death bird that I like almost never deal with. So its spawn point is going to be a little ambiguous to me. I know it's north of Castle Horn though. Because that's what my notes say. Okay. No falling death. Oh. Yep. That looks like, uh, Elamer. Or, you know, a hunter. If I do. What is that? Uh, okay, more death root. So, uh, Earthbore Cave. Where even is an Earthbore Cave? Morn Tunnel, Earthbore Cave. Uh, yeah, I think, given the enemy density, I probably prefer to go north from this race rather than south from the other. This is a cave I don't think I've ever done. So. We shall see. That is a big hand. Alright. 
So somewhere around here ought to be Earthbore Cave. Not down there. like we're right on top of it. That looks like a long fall. I don't know if I'm into that. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I'm not gonna fling myself into the ocean today if I don't have to. Yeah, my intent isn't to kill every boss in the game, but uh, to find these great runes, I might need to very nearly, so. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Interestingly, this does seem to be like the weakest possible Scarlet Rot. I probably do not want to go into the boss fight with it on me. Let's see if we can't find a way out. Alright, so there's the entrance. The, entr the answer is just, uh, don't, <laughs> don't fall in the hole, bud. Which I can probably do. Alright, take two. Now with whole avoidance tech. deal with that if I don't have to. Stay. Not a chance. Gonna hang out here for a hot second. Honor my life choices. I'm going for that hallway. Stabbing a ghost through the heart that doesn't even have a head feels like it shouldn't be that effective. Hey, we found Ken's, Ken's dagger. Oh, uh, yeah.
right, Gary. Rune Gary. <laughs> All right. The Rune Bear has been dealt with. Impaler's Catacombs, and then the Zamor Everjail. Impaler's Catacombs, that one's in the north east edge, right? That's this guy. Yeah. I think the fastest way is to take the uh, Spirit Spring up to the tower and then trek north. It's not bad to get Gary out of the way. A endgame scaled Garrus is a thing of nightmares, so... No qualms with that one. We are getting a nice pile of runes, so eventually we should uh, bite the bullet and start upgrading. Oh, extra grace. Very close to crab, but extra grace. Oh, this is where like the gravity dudes are. All right. Let's not get sniped by a big crab. Or crawfish? Crayfish? That guy. Alright. So somewhere over here. Okay. We gotta go down and around. Hello. All right. Let's reset stuff. Oh. Interesting. Oh, it's probably supposed to be a, a little gargoyle, or a, yeah, a little stone gargoyle clinging to the wall and just fell in. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Traps don't really work when all the enemies that get put in have dopey AI. No bleed, thank you. Oh, is this the, the crushy rune? Yep. Right. All right. There we go. That's where we want to go. Alright. Man. 
What an ass. What is that? Can you guys... Is there a necromancer? Because, like, is there a reason I keep fighting the same kinds of enemies over and over again? No? There is. Oh my god. Okay. That's the worst. Just get out of here. Okay, I do kind of like that. Sorry, bird. Oh my god, yeah. The the fast Albanurix, but cannot can never die is uh. That's a vision of hell. I'll throw ghost flame at me. Big giant stuck in a hallway. Hello? Oh. You can climb ladders, so you did. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's grace it up before we jump in. Turns out it's like... Esker or something. I want enough FP to both Golden Vow and use, uh... The alabaster pole. That would have made life with the Capra Demon so much easier in DS1 if weapons had all, you know, more frequently had AoEs you could use. Uh, there were a couple, but not a ton that you'd have by that time in a normal playthrough. Alright, what do we got? Is that the duelist? Is that just the normal one? Oh. This is the one in the, uh, the teleporting, teleporting chess catacomb. Because he's got his jar friends. The soul jars of fortune. Any item? Nothing? Weak. Alright. Uh, we got four minutes, three minutes left, so I'm gonna take us to the, uh, the Everjail, the next target. Won't go in just yet. It's uh, over here. I'm pretty sure we have the stone sword key we need to get in. If not, we can go buy one, but... Uh... Oh yeah, we have plenty. I don't think we've gotten any remembrances yet, come to think of it. We got three minutes left. Let's see who this is. Maybe we can just wipe them off the map and have one fewer thing left. We have been kind of burning down the list. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's not gonna take three minutes. Something good. Oh, okay, yeah. That's that's a necessary key item. I mean, not necessary, not necessary for Selen's quest, but uh, fun stuff. Let's see, yeah, with that off, uh, let's go ahead and take a hot second before we spend or lose these runes to go upgrade the Death Poker, because that's going to get quite spicy quite fast. Now 
those out of a chat find them well. Yeah. Oh, sevens. Anything more selling? Uh, is there anything else at round table? We haven't taken down another remembrance boss. I should move Gideon. Oh, I can't remember very well. It is safe here. Oh, two, two remembrance bosses. Okay. Well, in that case, I will go ahead and I've already killed D. I'm gonna check out the downstairs. So I will go ahead and pause for a second, take a break for a couple minutes, and we'll be back at it for maybe one more hour today. See you soon. a minute early but let's get back to it there's only a couple more things left there is a uh, tombsward cave which is super close tunnel uh the morn tunnel and what's the other one called tombsward catacombs morn tunnel uh tombsward cave so we can knock these down one at a time should we just swap to using the uh, the poker for now? The base damage is worse. And this would mean heavy load. No mansions. Okay, let's give this a try for uh, a couple bosses. I might need more mind than I have now, or you know, a way to supplement my FP. But failing that should be pretty good. 
Oh, I think it's down here under this, like, lip. point here. Really? Okay. I'll fall down onto it like I apparently was supposed to from the beginning. Whoop. There we go. See, just so I remember... Heavy. Okay. I think the trail is just always the right answer because the uh, the frostbite lingers longer. But oh yeah, let's let's full up and let's switch uh, at least two reds over to blue, just in case. Well, I think for going through the dungeon, I actually prefer the blaster. I don't know how many random ass enemies I'm gonna have to dispatch. Aha! Primed crystal bud. How about you? And crafting in a randomizer run would be an utter nightmare. All right. Go around the perimeter. I have what? I have yellow. Oh, the flame burger. Man. That was not what I was expecting, but okay. on theme enemies. Come on, give me dry ground. Okay, good. So I think this should take us to the ledge where the item was. My spatial spidey senses are tingling. Nate's real money. Somber 2 is not. Okay. Okay, I was like, are these guys responding? No, they're not. So this is down, down to the boss door finally. Okay. Do I hear Elden Beast? Oh, let's find out. If it is Elden Beast, then I think the blaster is probably the answer. No. It's Golem. Well, can we get to the chest? Hey, in a rare case, 
location. We can get to the chest. Guardian Oh, man. I'm glad, because I think this is the smallest boss arena in the whole game. Good riddance. I think I saw... I think it was Bushy's latest run. Uh, he fought Melania in that arena, and oh my god. What a nightmare. Okay, so that's Tomb's Word Cave marked off. All right. All right, more in tunnel and Tomb's Word Catacombs. So the tunnel's here. Is Tomb's Word here? It is. Okay, so I guess if I... Yeah, I could probably get there just straight from here. Get towards Marker 2. You have a horse, I assure you. Yeah, it's behind those pillars, right? Yeah. yeah I think, uh... I may not stream tomorrow, I've got a really full day, but uh, after... Oh, next week at least, once I have time again, uh, I'm going to put some time into updating the overlay to reflect total number of bosses killed, because it's taken a goodly number of them. This is not where I expected to be, is it? Uh, is it up on the... Up on this plateau? I thought it was like you go down by the pillars. Yeah, I think it's this way. I think I'm tripping. Am I just wrong? I could just be wrong. There's a grace here I've never, never bothered with before. Yeah, it seems to be up on the plateau, so let's, let's do that. I have so many memories of going past these pillars and then into a, a catacomb. Could have been a different one. Oh yeah, there's the, uh, is it Rosas, the cat catacomb guy, hunchback statue. He's got that gamer posture, telling us where the catacombs are. Yeah. These are the pillars we're looking for. I should rest. I should rest. Uh, I mean, we do have a bunch. It doesn't look like an important item, but, you know. Longbow. Yeah. Not the best trade I've ever made, as far as uh, stone sword keys go. Is this the one where it's just like inside this pillar? No. I know there is a catacomb that's super quick. Okay, it's up there.
Yeah, having a, a slime sneak up on you is not really the same, uh... Same as a skeleton jumping out. Okay, that sucks. That guy's a kind of a surprise. I'll give you that. No puke. No pukes. Stop that. Jeez. The physical defense on those things, man. Apologies. My brain just wants it to happen every time. All right. Better Nate than Lever. Actually spent many resources, so we can probably just go straight in. We'll top up my health and use the buffs, though. So, do we want to try? Yeah, let's try to use the death poker on this. That'll be. It's plus six instead of plus seven, but you know. So let's top up health. Let us go ahead and buff. Uh. Get this guy. It's Cemetery Rick. Well, sorry, Cemetery Rick. <laughs> I don't know if that was necessarily the most fair uh, trial run for the test poker. <laughs> All right, I can check off the uh, Tombs Ward Catacombs. We can power ahead to the. Morn Tunnel. Uh, quickest way is probably... Yeah, just going straight south. Oh! Well, you can kind of like stagger down from the bridge, right? Yeah, let's just go here and go straight south. Easy enough. Risk as few gravity deaths as I possibly can this time. Oh yeah. This is like all the way down on the coast. I forgot about that. That's okay. There we go. Yeah. Under the bridge and through the woods. Warren Tunnel, up we go. to get the Ray Lucaria key to get one another shard bearer down. Also, uh, there's a merchant on the far edge. Thank you. 
know, there's a merchant on the uh, other side of the academy that you only get to with the key. He's got a full inventory of God knows what. Interesting. In fact, I've got more blues now. Alright. Poison grease. Oh. Can you stop? For some reason, I'm like that slow charge. I'm like, let's back up. Let's back up a bit more. What could go wrong? Let's back up a bit more. I got clocked. It'd be nice to find more sacred tears. Flasks do not do as much as I'd like. Oh, right. This, this bit's blocked. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, someone dropped something. Stone sword keys. I will always take it. down here? It's like the big main chamber. Alright. I guess not. Let us away. Is that, is that Moog? No. Fire Monk? Let's... I don't think we actually need the uh, Golden Vow if we're doing Dust Poker. Let's try this. Oh. The duo. This is a little slow, I'll be honest. We have one Ghost Flaming mission left. It didn't go off, okay. I do 
have a buckler, and I do enjoy parrying these guys. Walk back into it. Come on. Join me in the fire. No? Oh, I didn't charge it long enough, that's why. was a mess, but Crucible duo out of the way with no deaths. <laughs> so the death's poker is strong. I need to fully charge it if I want it to do what I expect it to do. And uh, yeah, man, that was tighter than it should have been. But let's get out of here so we can Teleport. Is that the last thing in Weeping? I think it might be. So. I think I kind of want to explore. Um, what is it? Altus a little bit more rather than just knocking down more bosses. So, with Limgrave and Weeping basically done. Uh, let's go here and try to get up to Gelmir for the Gelmir Merchant and poke around Volcano Manor. There's a lot of fun stuff there. I think the most direct route I know of... Uh, I don't think we had got Raya... Maybe we did? Oh, that's the bottom of the Grand Lift. I don't think we have both halves. Um, even if we have Raya, that'll take us to Volcano Manor, but it's not actually an easy way to get to the Merchant. So yeah, let's go to the Bird Tree Gazing Hill, down the valley, up the Spirit Spring, cross the bridge, through the woods to Tanith's house. We can hit the merchant on the way. Uh, there's a field boss in the... Um, brain, brain, brain. Full-grown Falling Star Beast. So yeah, some interesting stuff we can do. Of course, the scaling here will be a lot higher than uh, Liernia and uh, Limgrave and Weeping, but if it's something particularly easy, it'll be worth a good amount of runes, where everything we've been killing lately has been pretty crap. 
Okay, that's pretty good. So that's enough to take the, uh... Man. Instantly rewarded. Ow. Enough to take the uh, Death's Poker up to plus eight, I think. Eight or nine. Horse elevator. Uh, yeah, oh, here we go. Horse elevator part two. Somber night. Oh man. Why did I waste any time uh, in Limgrave looking for stones? They're all here. any tents yet. Let's hope there's nothing here that can harass us while we're on the ladder. Yeah, land squirt should be pretty safe. the last time I climbed a ladder with more than like 10 steps or even like 8 I don't know how Osha would feel about Mount Gelmir oh yeah, graveyard I have not hit up the uh, Altus graveyards yet well, opportunistically we shall Gravitas, a worse version of uh, of this ash. I think it's less weak or uh, less less strong than the uh, Alabaster Lord's pull, but it's just so much less poignant when it's a marionette and not a dog. Isn't it usually a seven? Oh no, no, it's usually a six. The sevens are like more tricky to get. Refunded. I do like getting refunded fl refunded flasks. No, that's not the button I thought I was hitting. Just enjoying my Gatorade. One shot so many enemies is just lovely. You're a Lyurnia knight, what are you doing here? His job. Ah, not the pulley bow, but. Somber 6, an eccentric hood, okay. So we've got. Seven, nine, six, 
three sixes, two sevens. No eights. That's what we're waiting for. We even got multiple nines, right? Yeah, we got plenty of nines. Man. Rainbow stones lead the way to riches. I don't remember ever hearing this one before. Is this new? Or just miss it. Oh yeah, this is where the scion usually lumps on you. See anyone around though? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Strange happenings. Yeah, if nines can drop here and sevens can drop here, it only seems fair that eights should be dropping somewhere. We will keep our eyes peeled. What a horrifying thought. So I know this one leads up to the merchant, and the one in the middle leads up to the uh the one like halfway point with an item on it. Let's check the merchant first. Oh, it's a blue item too. Okay. Actually, we can take that, that ladder down as long as we remember to find it. Ah, oh, welcome. Dear customer, welcome. Value, please. I'm hungry. He's been hungry for so long. Ooh, the infinite boiled crab. That's a very expensive somber seven. Uh, got a very cheap death root and an academy glintstone key. Is this the real one? Unused. Yes. Yes. Let's get maybe ten of these. It's expensive-ish. And I will, I will eat your bell bearing for certain, sir. All right, let's check that item get up to the next grace, and then I want to explore uh, Raya Lucaria. I'll upgrade our weapons and explore Raya Lucaria. Uh, I, should, I should probably get all the way to Volcano Manor, at least have this this route uh, finished before getting ADD distracted. Not particularly bad. Okay, what is this? Hey! Stop it! Yeah. Okay, I'm out of range. <laughs> Maximum irritation enemy. Okay. Just 
runs off. Don't mind me. There's an elk climbing a ladder. I know there's a cave off to the right, but let's just stay on the path. Is that a... Oh. thought a spear was an item, a legendary item. Knocking over a bunch of wood, pissing dudes off. Okay. Tag the grace, see who the falling star beast is. Open Volcano Manor. Then maybe fall back over to. Actually, this is a good question. If I go up this way, I'll basically be aggroed right away. Oh, that's not bad. I do think this is one to be blasted, not to uh, death pokered. Already? Uneven ground is kind of fucking with me, but... Get away fast enough on that. All right. Well, do we think we would do better with Death Poker? Al almost certainly. Uh, just as insurance, let's go. Because I know this guy usually drops a whole pile of smithing stones. We don't necessarily need those smithing stones, but he might have a whole pile of randomized items. So. Let's go ahead. Oh, divinity, have mercy. Grant me forgiveness. Road is yet dark. God is not easily found. One day without. Uh, I didn't probably do it much. Just lay out. Seven. Ah, okay. Well, still better. Let's go back to Gilmere. It had been doing so well, but man, that dished arena causes all sorts of shenanigans. Unhorse, please. All right. 
That didn't do it. seen that follow up. Alright, let's... Come on! What do you need to unlock for that? Like, what's the... Oh, no. Wait, seriously? Okay. I think I'm not using the weapon right. It's not leaving a trail on the ground. I'm not sure if that's because the arena is curved or what's going on, but this is a mess. Okay, testing. So that's not it. I get it just like the inputs wrong. I'm getting the inputs wrong. What am I doing? Follow up with a normal attack. Set the ground to blaze a ghost flame. Okay. You can't charge it. You just have to tap tap. Okay. Answer. Alex was being a dummy. Oh, the ghost flame lingers. I like to see it. Alright, so let's two hand. That should make this much easier. So we'll, we'll see if I'm still bad at this. Tap, tap. Out of juice. Yeah. There's a big explosion out of the crater. Tap, tap. Jesus. 
step. Okay. I'm still bad in this arena, but it was much, much easier. So. Any cool items? Okay, Sacred Tear is very worth it. We have the uh, Starlight Shard Cup. Yeah. Leaf. Okay, well. That's okay. So there, there is Volcano Manor. Somewhere here should be the rock that juts out. Yeah. That is a lot of Erd Tree avatars. What? What? Does the scaling just mean we get more mini bosses for enemies? Not a fan of that. Yep. Kind of figured something like that was going to happen. Humor's Talisman. Okay, here's a key item situation. Secret two. Oh, yeah. So let's uh, tag a Grayson here. Are they going to follow me down here? Yeah, they are. I am curious to get the Scarab, but let's tag a Grace first. Big house. I should just pump big for a couple levels here. Our damage is ludicrous. Hey, Tanith. Aren't you precocious? We rarely risk fascinating. So, about the bird, if you have, rise with us. Your decision, now you belong. The drawing room, now. I am Tanith. Ho ho! First great the rune. Drawing room is used. I will take it. Awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, deal with this invader. We only have a couple minutes left. Uh, I think I'd rather be messing around uh, in Rai Lucaria. I do like how the AI can't really path through the fire, or path around it. That's another fun buff. Alright. I don't think we ever got the drawing room key. So until we do, this is kind of quiet. I guess we can go down to the town and all that stuff. We can't do any of the quests. And I would like to do the quests, so... Let us roll back to Rai Lucaria, poke our head into the merchant, and maybe try to make our way to Red Wolf in the next, you know, seven minutes. <laughs> All right, big crab. Wait, what? Oh no, this is not the, wait. This isn't Tope's key, is it? Let's go to Topes and, and see, uh, let's see, this is, yeah, like this in Cliffs. This one specifically said hasn't been used by anyone. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm guessing this is not the, the normal one that Smarag guards, but uh, the one you're supposed to give to Topes after finding it on a chandelier. Uh, Night Shard is still our best sorcery option, so let's go ahead and get it before, you know, maybe sending him to his death. Uh, is that only 700? Yeah. Back to the way, of course. Apologies. I'm afraid, my. Oh, right. I can tell you what you've seen. That's, that's the only its doors after they declare the academy, as you might have guessed, making entry and so on. When they cast. Why not find without one? And you'll never. Reach. And if you've. Once you've. Told you consider. I know it. But still. Are you certain you're willing to give your. My oh, my. Thank you. Now I can go to resume my study. <laughs> hey, erudition. Sorry, I, I know what happens to you, and I'm I'm very upset. Well, it does mean we can get get into one of the, one more of the towers. So let's go ahead and do that while I'm still thinking about it. Also, the tower on the other side. Uh, actually, we can probably. Oh, running out of time for today's stream. I'll go there. Uh, I'll hit that tower, and then, uh, that might be it for today. But now that we have uh, Alabaster Lord's Pull, we can probably clear out the Chaos, or the Madness Tower, and properly explore the rest of, uh, Eastern Lyernia. Uh, hiss laser. Again! Ugh. Big bird, big ant. And a balloon? No. Okay. Yeah, okay. The curiosity would have killed me. I feel like there probably is like a tricky horse way of getting up this tower, but since we have the the emote, we can just do it. Ooh. I don't remember there actually being an item here. Uh, let's see. Do I need to do it here? Oh no, there we go. Just takes a second. What a strange quest reward. Thank you. Yeah, I've got two minutes. Uh, yeah, let's let's try that. Let's try to at least wipe out the uh, the madness tower and then call it a night. I would like to know that's uh, open for exploration tomorrow, tomorrow or whenever I get back to the stream. And then I'm probably off to find some Christmas Tide Boba. Which is one of the few things that's probably still open on Christmas Day. Good times. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, I had my knives selected rather than my the uh, the flask. I threw a knife at a wall instead of healing. Uh, I will step and stubbornly insist on getting this before I call it, but uh, that sucks. I think there is a way with a spirit spring around the left edge. Maybe I should go for that instead. I feel like that's a cleaner way to get up the tower without messing with the dudes on the bottom floor. I believe I have seen people do this. Is it down here? I think this is too low. Yeah. Scratch my face, drink a flask. All the things. I do feel like I've seen people, like, spirits spring up from the left. Yeah, there's it. There it is. That sounds pretty definitive. Oh man, the vertical hitbox on this. I'd love to see it. All right, chaos tower turned off. Uh, let's go grab the grace nearby and then call it uh, a night. Are these dudes still down here? Does my hitbox extend below me? It does. Eat shit. Uh -huh. So calm. I do remember finding the grace out here the first time I encountered the, the Chaos Tower and had to like inch my way over protected by rocks. Um, where it at? Where it at? Not there. There's the village. There it is. All right, friends. It's been a nice long stream. Made a lot of progress. Got the death poker, lots of weapon upgrades, a lot of dead bosses, and only a couple more deaths. So, feels pretty good. Alright, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time, hopefully uh, before the new year, because I've got a lot of time off work to, to kill between now and then. Catch you then.